Hello and welcome to my video on the Apex Mini Grab camera. In this video I will be demonstrating what the camera comes with, the installation process, general software overview and concluding with my thoughts on the product. If you're anything like myself I can sometimes struggle looking through a microscope eyepiece and with this in mind I decided to invest in a camera that would enable me to see what I'm looking at on a computer screen. I own an Apex Practitioner Microscope that I purchased online for around £109. After discovering I had flukes in my pond last year that had most probably been introduced by several ducks that started to visit my garden, I thought it was about time I invested in a good microscope for diagnosing problems in the future. It's been a great investment and I would highly recommend any koi enthusiast to purchase one. I purchased this camera from Amazon for around £56 as it was the cheapest place at the time. Delivery was speedy as always and it comes with a standard one year warranty. Once you open your new Apex Mini Grab camera box you'll quickly discover that this has been well packaged. It comes with a standard 1.5 meter USB 2 data cable, two eyepiece reducers for other make microscopes, software installation disk and a very basic installation instructions guide. The installation of the camera's hardware is simple and straightforward. Take the USB cable that has been supplied and attach the smaller end of the two to the camera. Next insert the other larger end to a spare USB port on your computer. Then remove the original microscope eyepiece from the microscope. Take off the protective cap from the camera then position into your microscope eyepiece making sure the lead is hanging closest to you. The installation process is again very straightforward and easy. Once you have connected your cable to your computer, there may be a message saying that Windows has discovered a new device and has successfully installed it on your computer. If like myself you do not have Auto Run enabled, just go into the disk via Explorer and locate the file called autorun.exe. Double click on this and the installation process will execute. Follow the on-screen instructions. If you want to install the camera software, which is called Tope View, to a different location, make sure you change the installation path within the setup. Otherwise, just click Next to continue. You will be presented with a small pop-up box asking you to allow installation of the device software. Allow this and click Next to continue the installation process. Once the installation is completed, you will now be able to run the TopeView software from the desktop icon or start menu. Once you have loaded up the TopeView software, either by double clicking on the desktop icon or via your start menu, you will be able to see the camera's name on the left hand side of the screen near the top. Click on this and it will activate the camera. For the purpose of this video, I have selected a slide that I have of a fly's leg, as I do not have any reason to scrape any of my koi at present, touch wood. As you can see, the slide is now being placed under the microscope, and I am manually focusing the image on the microscope as you would normally until it is clear. The image is being viewed at a magnification of 100 times on the screen at the moment. If you require to look on a different area of the slide, just manually move it as you would see fit. On the screen at the moment, you can see I have increased the magnification to 400 times. This is now the highest resolution I am able to achieve with the Apex Mini Grab camera. 
It is more than adequate for me to be able to detect microscopic organisms such as Trichodina, Flukes or Chilodonella. However, the camera is only as good as the highest magnification on your own scope without the original eyepiece. If you do detect something within your slide and you are unsure what it is, you are able to save the image to your computer via the Snap Tool option. To do this is very easy. Just click on the relevant button. For this demo, I will use the Snap button. You will see a new window has appeared next to the live feed from the camera. This is the snapshot of what the camera is currently looking at. Next, click on the File drop-down menu and click on the Save As option. This brings up a window that will allow you to save the file to a designated location on your computer. Type in the name of the image that you want it to be called. I've just called mine Simply Picture. Now select the JPEG image extension, but you can save it to other file extensions such as TIFF, for example. Click Save to save your image. You can now click back onto the camera live feed via the yellow tab at the top if you wish. As you can see, it is very simple to save an image of what your camera is looking at. One of the many advantages of the Tope View software. I'm quite a geeky person, so I found the hardware and software a doddle to set up. It's great that it's a driverless piece of hardware, as a lot of people can trip up on installing new hardware. The camera is well made and of substantial quality. I paid about £56 off Amazon for this camera, and I feel it's a fairly good value for money. It's probably a good idea to shop around, but I would avoid eBay, as it was about £30 more expensive when I was originally searching. For a 2 megapixel camera, the image quality, well, it's fairly good, and you are most certainly able to see what you need to see. Again, I will reiterate, the camera is only as good as the highest magnification of your scope. I have an Apex Practitioner microscope, so if you have, for example, the Researcher microscope, the camera will fit perfectly fine. It does come with a couple of other reducers for other makes of scopes, but I could not test these out. Although this is a very basic video on how to set up, install and use the camera, I have had time to look much deeper into the software. There are many other functions available to the user, and this will be covered in another video in the future. For me personally, this camera is a bit of a lifesaver. As I have mentioned in the beginning, I find it difficult to peer down the microscope lens for any length of time hunting for bugs. Generally, the image quality is very good, and it definitely will do both amateur and professional koi enthusiasts alike. First of all, I feel the camera should have been 4 megapixel and not 2 megapixel. This would have given a much clearer images at very high magnifications. It is not a major issue, but in this day and age, a 2 megapixel camera is 15 year old technology so it should have been a higher resolution sensor. Personally speaking, I do not always use a laptop as I have a designated man cave in my house. The computer is about 2.5 meters away from the monitor, so the 1.5 meter cable that is included is simply not long enough. However, you can buy a USB extension cable, so bear this in mind before purchase. The USB interface really should have been USB 3 and not USB 2. This would have eliminated the slight lag between the scope and the computer, which is visible when you're maneuvering the slide. This is not a major issue, but more of a personal gripe. One of my biggest issues I had in my computer room with the USB cable being so short is that it would move the eyepiece towards the computer. This moves the orientation of the image on the screen to a completely different angle to the one originally set. Very annoying. A simple fix would have been to have a locking mechanism on the scope. Apex also do not have a locking mechanism on the camera. So, 
if you do not put the camera in the correct position in the first place, the image goes skew if. A way around this is to make sure that the USB cable connection is facing down. It's a shame it's not compatible with Crapple. Oops, sorry, I mean Apple. But these days, most people run Windows operating systems anyway, so it's not too much of an issue. Conclusion. I'd recommend buying one if you struggle to see down a microscope like I do. They're not overly expensive, easy to use, and almost makes bug hunting on your koi fun. Thank you for watching my video. If you have found this interesting, then please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Until next time, bye.